I'm Scott, I'm from Brisbane. I'm Brad, I'm from Brisbane as well, Brad Harker. Are you both Harkers? Yes, we're married. Yes. Yes. Very happily. <laughs> How long have you been married? Five years. <laughs> <laughs> he always gets it wrong, but he's correct, yes. Five years? Yes. Oh, okay, great. And is this your first time at Whistler Pride? No, we were here in 2020, just yes. before COVID oh, okay. shut it all down. Yes. Okay. And are these new outfits for 2023? Yes, they are. They sure are. We had them handcrafted in Brisbane and brought them all the way over to Whistler to show in the Pride today. Fantastic. They look fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, were there any drag queens involved in producing these? Uh, yes, yes, there actually. is a drag queen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been coming to Pride for 17 years. Uh, 10 years as a guide. Great. Yeah. And the signature hat. Yes, so my group doesn't lose me. That's the plan anyways, that's the plan. Perfect. A long time. Oh gee, oh gee, oh gee! I think this may be 30. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been helping on the hill with guiding since the very start. Yeah. And yourself? Uh, 10 to 12 years at least. Wow. Yep. And can we get a little bit into the guiding? I hear that the guiding is really popular this year, like more than ever. Can you talk about that briefly? Yeah, we've had record numbers uh, turn out this year. We bring you up to the top of the mountain, separate you into skill levels, green, blue, black, uh, skiers and boarders, and take you out and tour you around the mountain uh, to show you places that you might not know exist and might not know are your skill level. Fantastic. And uh, you're getting people from all over the world at these events? Oh, yeah. I mean, people... We've had from Thailand, Singapore, Miami, uh, England, Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah, it's been yeah. everyone Germany. all over. Yeah. And one of the great things that a lot of people like, a lot of couples come up and they don't always ski or board at the same level. So it's this wonderful thing. They, one partner goes with the fast blues and the other one goes with the greens. They have a great morning out and each one has a great day of skiing, meet up at lunch and they can do the afternoon together. Not cold? No, not yet. Not yeah, yet. no, not yet. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration for the outfit. Yeah, I just couldn't come up with a good outfit, so you know, like I kind of just went with the with, with the cliche of getting a speedo. I just wanted to wear as least, uh, the least amount of clothes possible. Oh, I see. You got it flaunted, huh? <laughs> we have two police officers here. Yay! If you break the rules, you will get ticketed. <laughs> <laughs> they have handcuffs. They have a spike strip. to one of the main organizers of the Whistler Pride and Ski Festival to see what they have planned for 2023. It started with a small group of guys coming up to ski for a weekend um, and it grew from there so every weekend got bigger and bigger and then the weekends got longer and longer and here we are with uh, a six to seven day week festival with about over 1800 at snowboarders and skiers up on the mountain during the course of the week. 
Our guests are so international. We're seeing, of course, a lot of visitors from the U.S. as we always do. Where we've got some great uh, visitors from Asia, which we haven't seen those numbers climb till this year. I think people are really getting the word out. I think the Whistler Resort is becoming more and more famous, and so is the festival. Were you brought here by someone? Did someone sneak you in here saying, oh, this is gonna be a good night for you, and you're going, where the f am I? Well, sure, our comedy night is now back in its regular spot. Last year, we had to move it due to the pandemic situations and restrictions. However, this year, uh, a lot of the famous old events are all back. Snowball is back, Rochus is back, Throwback Thursday in a larger venue. Uh, pool party is back. All these events that we couldn't do last year are back. And we've got some new programming. We've got some programming for the youth. We've got the youth coming up to do some skiing with, with all of us. And we've got a after parade day celebrations uh, set aside for themselves. It's, it's, a, it's awesome. The growth is including a, a larger demographic of people. And this is what I'm so happy to see. Happy Pride! The volunteers have always been the heart of the festival. Um, to see so many people come up and want to be part of the experience and deliver a great experience to our patrons, the volunteers are totally the heart. They, they come out, they want everybody to have a good time, they help us run the doors, the volunteers are behind the scenes, and on the front line, they're everywhere. The volunteers are what the festival is, is really, really carried on. Well, we're happy to announce that by the end of the, the weekend here, we will have our next year hotel packages ready and available for people to pre-book and purchase. We are going to prepare ourselves to uh, make it easier for people to plan and pr uh, properly plan their next year visit with the dates and hotel packages ready to go. We never thought that this was going to be the part of the festival we had to worry about the growth. We thought we maxed out, but no, we didn't. We saw numbers that are like every day making us sweat. But like, how are we going to do it? But we've been doing it. And this is what we're ready for again, like I said, for next year. We know the festival is attracting a lot of visitors from a lot of different uh, parts of the world now. And I think um, with the success that we're seeing, we're going to see a lot of people come back. This year's Comedy Night is headlined by Bianca Del Rio of RuPaul's Drag Race. Let's go check it out. We're at the 30th Whistler Pride and Ski Week Festival for Comedy Night. And the headliner tonight is Bianca Del Rio, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6. How the f*** you doing, Whistler? You can, you can turn off that music. I'm not going to sing a f***ing song. Because there's enough horrible drag queens who think they can sing. RuPaul. to be back here. It's been a hot minute, Whistler. I have not been here in a long time. It's been about four years. I think I say four years. It could have been two. Who the f knows? Because this pandemic happened. So I'm just happy to see you. I'm happy to be back out again because I have missed you. I have missed you terribly. Honestly, I have missed you almost as much as I've missed your money. I have missed you. But the fact that the gays are back out and it's the 30th anniversary of Pride here in Whistler, that's pretty amazing. It really is good, though. It is. I'm excited to be here, but I must say that people lied to me. They told me, they said, girl, do you want to go someplace where there's lots of gays and there's a pile of big white stuff? Should have been a little more fucking specific. Well, how did you end up here, Sharda? Tell me your story. I want to hear about it. If you say make a wish, you got to get the fuck out. Do you understand that? Because if your dying wish is to see me, bitch, you should just die. You should die. Sharda, do you know what OnlyFans is? So it's, let me explain to you, Sharda. It's a site where, <laughs> look at Sharda. No, Sharda. Listen, Sharda. It's a site. <laughs> it's a site where people online and they film it and then they sell the video. So it's like porn on demand, Sharda. 
This is what happens. And there's all kinds, of, it's not just porn. I shouldn't tell you that because other people do other crazy things. Some people don't do all that. Some people do like little videos like TikTok where it's some 32 year old faggot on steroids going, ooh, 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 ooh. That happens as well. You also got straight girls that show their feet. I don't understand the fascination with feet. I don't get it. But this is what happens on OnlyFans. And you see, I was considering doing that because times were so hard during the pandemic. It really was difficult, but I was doing shows online. For Outlook TV, this is Angus Pratt at the 30th Whistler Pride and Ski Festival. We now have to take a short break. Oh yes, I have to fix my hair. While at Whistler Pride, the Outlook TV team stays at host sponsor hotel, the Ava. Welcome back to this Whistler Pride edition of Outlook TV. And I hear there's a great tea dance happening, Dai Chen. Does it only serve the tea? Good evening, Richard. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, thank you. Can you tell our audience across Canada where you're from? Uh, from Houston, Texas. And is this your first time in Whistler? My second time. Uh, I did a gay ski week here, like in the early 2000s. So it's been a while, but yeah, second trip here. Okay, so what do you think about it since, uh, since that time, how it's changed? Uh, I think it's gotten a lot bigger. I, I don't remember an event this big back in like 2005. So yeah, I think it's definitely gotten bigger. We're Canada's first sake-based seltzer. So we use, uh, we're, we're using sake as a base instead of some of the other ones, and uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a real treat. We're uh, again locally owned, it's naturally gluten free. Uh, sake is just a fascinating base, and it's amazing. So yeah, just thrilled to be here, and such incredible partners, and and there's nowhere better in the world than Whistler. So yeah, uh, such a treat. And how did you get hooked up with Whistler Pride of all things? Uh, actually, our rep, who's just around the corner, she uh, she made the connection, and we just wanted to support Pride. So uh, we thought, what better way to keep you hydrated and you know be a part of the massive event here? Good evening, Nathan and Tommy. How you doing? Oh my God, amazing! I love being in Canada. I love it. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Can you tell our audience across Canada where you're from? I'm from Michigan. I'm from San Francisco. Is that your first time in Whistler? First time ever, and I love it. I want to come back. First time, first time in Whistler. And uh, how did you find out about the event? Um, through our sluttiest friend. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, my god, there he is. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my god, it's so weird. No, uh, uh, what do you think so far? Um, it's a really good time. I um, love it here. I love Canada. <laughs> um, it's great. I love it. And what kind of events are you going to go to other than this? Um, well, as a couple, I think we'll probably go to the tea dance. And then, what other, honey, what other events are we going to go to? <laughs> um, we're going to go to Ferocious tomorrow. Ferocious. Outlook TV, this is Angus Pratt at the Whistler Conference Center. I hear they're bringing back the Splash Pool Party again this year, Dai Chen. Oh, sounds good. That's my favorite event. We're at the Meadow Park Sports Center in Whistler for the return of the Splash Pool Party. And we're going to go talk to some people and see what they're doing to have some fun. Well, you know what, right now we um, we definitely, safety is paramount. So we have seven lifeguards, instructors on deck. We have paramedic and some security. And um, so basically just to be re talking about different scenarios on how we can keep everyone safe and happy tonight. Now on a normal night, you wouldn't be serving alcohol in the pool, is that right? 
Actually, alcohol and drugs and water do not mix. So this is something that we would not normally support, but because we're putting all these safety parameters in place, we feel that we can support your group. It's my first time in the Whistler Pride and also my first time playing here. I'm so excited. <laughs> and so what are you going to be playing for us tonight? Uh, I'm going to play some house music with some pop, pop music. It's going to be fun. Good evening, Jason. How are you doing? Doing great. We're at Whistler Pride. Wonderful. And thanks for joining us. And can you tell us, our audience, where you're from? I'm from Houston, Texas. And is this your first time up in Whistler? No, this is my fourth time. My friend and I started trying out different gay ski weeks, and we tried Park City, and it was okay. And then we came to Whistler and loved it, so we've been back four times now. This is one of the favorite events. Uh, yeah, it was, we missed it last year. It was unfortunate, but it's back and bigger and better than ever. Happy Pride, Whistler! This is my first time in Whistler, yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. I love it. Yeah, what do you think so far like, of, of the party? I, they're fantastic. All the tea dances have been great. This is so, I can't believe they negotiated this. Like, this is not, this is a big deal. Yeah. To be in this public space, it's incredible. And the spa the other night, that was also, like, the whole time I'm like, logistically, it's pretty impressive that they created this. Fantastic. Yeah, does that think mean you probably bring some groups back in future? Oh, for sure, yeah. I want to bring a group back. Yeah, I want to bring a group back, for sure. Now, can you tell our audience a little bit about Zoom Vacations, what, where you take people? Yeah, so it's a luxury group vacation company. So, like, I was just in Peru with a group in November. Uh, February, I leave like, a group in, in India for the Holy Festival. And then I go on the Maldives. And we do trips all over the world. We'll be in South Africa, Rwanda, and Kenya, Argentina, Rio. I mean, all over the world. First time in Whistler, first time skiing in Canada. Same here, yeah. And what do you think so far? It's been a great event, great ski, great mountain, having a really good time. Oh, it's, it's really beautiful up here. The snow's amazing. A little colder than I'm used to, but we're well padded, so it's good. Uh, from Australia, so all the way across, to come here to check out Whistler, Canada. It's the best place to be this week. Fantastic, is this your first time here? This is my 10th time here. Oh, you come back, and this is your summer, but you come here for this. I I escape the heat to cool down, and then I get hotter by coming right in here to this amazing little place with all the other gays of Canada. We're out with TV. This is Angus Broad at the Meadow Park Sports Center in Whistler, BC. And now we have to take another short break. And I hear there's some hot tubs nearby, Dai Chen. Why not? While at Whistler Pride, the Outlook TV team stays at host sponsor hotel, the Ava. Welcome back to this edition of Outlook TV. And we understand there's going to be a ferocious evening at the Whistler's Conference Center tonight. A hot man in leather. People from all over the world are coming to the Whistler Conference Center tonight where things are about to get ferocious. Let's go meet some of them. I'm going to be playing a lot of sexy house music, a lot of vocals, um, sexy vibes, and good times. My friend actually invited me to come for my first Gay Ski Week, so I'm very excited to be here. I was looking for Gay Ski Weeks in the U.S. and realized it was much more expensive, so I came to Canada. <laughs> I came here on Tuesday. I've been skiing every day since. Just got here tonight, had a few drinks right away, so ready to get after it. We're having a good time, yeah. yeah. We got here today, and... Uh, Drinks and tomorrow the runs. Actually, I start track here. So, you know, in Iran, we don't have such a thing. 
right? Yeah. So I went to Turkey and I started performing, but as soon as I came here, uh, like my friends introduced me to drag and like drag community. And I'm so glad that I met these beautiful people. Drag was the platform for me. I'm DJing now, I'm performing in different platforms. And it's all because of that, because of the drag. So I'm so grateful to like all of my friends that introduced me to drag shows and drag family. For Outlook TV, this is Angus Pratt at Ferocious at the Whistler Conference Center. To wrap things up for this 30th Whistler Pride and Ski Festival, Snowball! That's our Whistler Pride edition of Outlook TV. Check us out on social media. I'm Angus Pratt. I'm Daicha Nakagawa. Stay, Stay fabulous, fabulous, Canada. Canada.